our universe possesses a fundamental speed limit, the speed of light. This speed is a staggering 299,792,458 meters per second. Light travels incredibly fast. It allows us to see distant stars and galaxies. However, this cosmic speed limit has profound implications for space travel. Imagine traveling to Proxima Centauri, the closest star system to our own. It lies about 4.24 light years away. This means that light itself takes 4.24 years to travel from Proxima Centauri to Earth. With our current technology, reaching even this nearby star system would take tens of thousands of years. The speed of light presents a significant challenge to our dreams of exploring the vast expanse of the cosmos. It's a barrier that seems insurmountable at first glance. But what if we could find a way to break, or perhaps bend, this cosmic speed limit? That's where the fascinating concepts of warp drives and wormholes come into play. These theoretical concepts offer a glimmer of hope for faster-than-light travel. They ignite our imaginations with possibilities of reaching distant corners of the universe. To comprehend the challenges and possibilities of faster-than-light travel, we must delve into the realm of Einstein's theory of relativity. This theory is not just a set of equations, but a profound insight into the very fabric of our universe. This theory, a cornerstone of modern physics, provides a framework for understanding the nature of space, time, gravity, and the cosmos. It reshapes our perception of reality and challenges our intuitive understanding of how the universe operates. Einstein's theory of special relativity, proposed in 1905, revolutionized our understanding of space and time. It introduced concepts that were previously unimaginable, altering the course of scientific thought forever. One of its key postulates is that the speed of light in a vacuum is constant for all observers, regardless of their relative motion. This idea is both simple and profound, forming the bedrock of modern physics. This postulate has profound implications. It means that the laws of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers, a principle that has been tested and confirmed through numerous experiments. Imagine two spaceships traveling at different speeds relative to each other. This scenario helps us visualize the effects of special relativity in a tangible way. Each spaceship emits a beam of light. According to our everyday experiences, we might expect the speed of light to vary depending on the motion of the spaceships. According to classical physics, an observer on one spaceship would measure the speed of light from the other spaceship as the sum of the speed of light and the relative speed of the two spaceships. This seems logical, but is not what actually happens. However, Einstein's theory of special relativity tells us something astonishing. It defies our common sense, but has been proven time and again through rigorous experimentation. Both observers would measure the speed of light to be exactly the same. This constancy of the speed of light is a cornerstone of special relativity. This seemingly counterintuitive concept has been experimentally verified countless times. It challenges our everyday experiences, but stands as a testament to the power of scientific inquiry. It forms a fundamental principle of our understanding of the universe. Without it, our grasp of the cosmos would be incomplete. Einstein's theory of general relativity, published in 1915, extended special relativity to include gravity. This was another monumental leap in our understanding of the universe. It describes gravity not as a force, but as a curvature of space-time caused by the presence of mass and energy. This elegant idea replaced the Newtonian concept of gravity as a force acting at a distance. According to general relativity, massive objects warp the fabric of space-time around them. This warping affects the motion of other objects, including light. This warping is what we perceive as gravity. It explains why planets orbit stars and why objects fall to the ground. This concept is often illustrated by imagining a bowling ball placed on a trampoline. 
the analogy helps us visualize the otherwise abstract idea of space-time curvature. The bowling ball represents a massive object, such as a star or planet. Its presence distorts the trampoline, just as mass distorts space-time. The trampoline represents the fabric of space-time. This simple model helps us grasp the complex nature of gravitational interactions. The bowling ball's weight causes the trampoline to sag, creating a curvature around it. This curvature is analogous to the warping of space-time by mass. Now, imagine rolling a marble across the trampoline. The marble's path is altered by the curvature, just as objects in space are influenced by gravity. The marble will curve as it passes by the bowling ball, following the curvature of the trampoline. This is a direct analogy to how gravity affects the trajectories of objects in space. This is analogous to how gravity affects the trajectories of objects in space. The warping of space-time guides the motion of planets, stars, and even light. Light, despite having no mass, also follows the curvature of space-time caused by massive objects. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, provides us with a powerful tool to study the universe. The concept of a warp drive, a staple of science fiction, captures the imagination with its promise of faster-than-light travel. This idea has been popularized by countless movies, TV shows and books, making it a fascinating topic for both scientists and enthusiasts. But how would a warp drive actually work? What are the principles behind this seemingly magical technology? The basic idea is to distort space-time itself, creating a bubble or warp bubble around a spacecraft. This bubble would allow the spacecraft to move through space in a way that defies our conventional understanding of physics. Imagine a piece of paper. Draw two points on opposite ends of the paper. These points represent two distant locations in space. The shortest distance between these two points is a straight line. This is how we typically think of travel, moving directly from one point to another. Now, fold the paper in half so that the two points touch. This simple act of folding represents the warping of space. You have now effectively warped the space between the two points, making them closer together. This is the essence of what a warp drive aims to achieve. A warp drive would operate on a similar principle, albeit on a much grander scale. Instead of folding paper, it would fold space-time itself. By compressing the space-time in front of the spacecraft and expanding the space-time behind it, a warp drive could create a region of space-time where the spacecraft could travel faster than light without violating Einstein's theory of relativity. This is because the spacecraft isn't actually moving through space faster than light. Rather, the space around it is being manipulated. The spacecraft itself would remain within the warp bubble where the rules of normal space-time apply. This means that the passengers inside the spacecraft would not experience any unusual effects. It's the bubble itself that's moving faster than light, carrying the spacecraft along with it. This allows for faster than light travel without breaking the laws of physics. This concept, while still purely theoretical, has garnered significant interest from physicists and science enthusiasts alike. The idea of bending the fabric of space and time is both thrilling and challenging. One of the most well-known theoretical frameworks for warp drives is the Alcubierre drive, proposed by Mexican physicist Miguel Alcubierre in 1994. His work has laid the foundation for much of the current research in this field. The Alcubierre drive proposes using a ring of negative mass energy density to create the warp bubble this negative energy is crucial for the warping effect. This ring of negative mass energy density would warp space-time in a very specific way, creating the conditions necessary for faster-than-light travel. It would contract space-time in front of the spacecraft and expand space-time behind it. This dual action is what allows the spacecraft to move through space at unprecedented speeds. This would allow the spacecraft to essentially surf on a wave of space-time distortion, traveling faster than light without violating any physical laws. 
the dream of interstellar travel could one day become a reality thanks to these groundbreaking theories. Imagine folding a piece of paper in half and punching a hole through both layers. This simple act creates a direct path between two points on the paper, bypassing the space in between. You've just created a shortcut. This concept can be applied to the vast expanse of the cosmos. This, in essence, is the concept behind a wormhole, a hypothetical tunnel connecting two distant points in space-time, much like the hole in the folded paper. Wormholes arise from the equations of Einstein's general relativity, which describe the gravitational effects of massive objects on the fabric of space-time. They offer a tantalizing possibility for traversing vast cosmic distances in shorter periods, potentially revolutionizing space travel. Instead of traveling the conventional route through space-time, a spacecraft could enter a wormhole at one location and emerge at a distant location, potentially bypassing the limitations of light speed and reducing travel time significantly. Think of a wormhole as a cosmic shortcut, a tunnel through the fabric of space-time that connects two far-flung regions of the universe. It's like taking a shortcut through a mountain instead of traveling the long way around, saving both time and energy. These theoretical tunnels could connect distant regions of the cosmos, allowing for rapid transit between them, making interstellar travel more feasible. However, wormholes, like warp drives, face significant theoretical and practical challenges that must be overcome before they can become a reality. One major hurdle is the stability of wormholes. Theoretical models suggest that they are inherently unstable. Theoretical models suggest that wormholes are inherently unstable. They would likely collapse as soon as they form, making them impassable and rendering them useless for travel. They would likely collapse as soon as they form, making them impassable. This presents a significant obstacle for their practical use. To keep a wormhole open and traversable, some form of exotic matter with negative mass energy density would be required. This exotic matter is theorized to have properties that could counteract the natural tendency of the wormhole to collapse. This exotic matter would create a repulsive gravitational force counteracting the wormhole's tendency to collapse. However, the existence and practical use of such exotic matter remain purely theoretical at this point.